Hey Leute, und willkommen zu einem weiteren Part von Metal Gear Solid 2. So, im letzten Part haben wir viel über die Ereignisse gehört, und zwar äh, Solidus Snake war der Vorgänger von diesem Präsidenten hier, dessen Namen ich jetzt schon, glaube ich, schon wieder vergessen habe. Ich glaube, Präsident Johnson war das hier. Ja, der natürlich äh, gegen die Patriots vorgegangen ist. Die Patriots sind eine Art ähm, ähm, Organisation, die die Weltherrschaft an sich gerissen hat, irgendwie. Sag ich jetzt mal. Die die äh, Menschen als ähm, Schachfiguren sieht und ähm, halt alles kontrollieren. Aber wir werden darauf noch eingehen. <lacht> oh. äh, wenn wir nämlich... Äh, Metal Gear Solid 3 spielen. Ja. Ocelot kam noch an und hat den Präsidenten gekillt. Dieser Vogel. Und ja, unsere nächste Aufgabe ist halt, Emma Emrich zu finden. Ja, es ist die Schwester von Herr Emrich. Auch genannt I.I. Ja. Gehen wir mal raus. Colonel, der Präsident ist tot. See, I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the nuclear locked authority has shifted to the vice president, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the president to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. Uh. Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the president didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden out. What's your status, Raiden? Snake. The president. He's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah. I did. It's exactly what the president and Ames described. A massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment. So we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. And it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago, what really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah, well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. 
I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dahl, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. A small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero. So they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it. They set all this up just to nail you guys. No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dahl, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with the perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it. Then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal Gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich? And his daughter, Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. And it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emrick? My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. Ja, mal wieder sehr wenig Zeit zum Spielen. <lacht> so, <lacht> wie ich schon gesagt habe, Emma Emmerich finden. Damit die nämlich den Virus, den wir von den Präsenten bekommen haben, dafür sorgt, dass nämlich Arsenal Gear nicht eingesetzt werden kann. So habe ich das jedenfalls verstanden. Wenn ich irgendwas falsch erkläre oder falsch aufnehme, könnt ihr wie gesagt jederzeit in den Kommentaren schreiben, wie es richtig ist und so. Weil ähm, ich habe mir die Zusammenfassung der gesamten Metal Gear Story mal hin und wieder angeguckt. Aber selbst ich raffe nicht immer alles und kann alles immer so hundertprozentig wiedergeben. So, jetzt ein langer Tauchgang. Aber es gibt noch einiges zu holen. Was ich auch mitnehmen werde. So. Ähm, geradeaus brauchen wir nicht schwimmen. Weil da... Wir schwimmen hier rein, weil hier gibt es noch was. Und zwar... Ein Nachtsichtgerät. 
Nicht, dass wir es brauchen würden. Um Himmels Willen, ne? Na komm, oh, da kann ruf an. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Atacon. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that EE e. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah, but my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore. That she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the camov. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. Yep, da hat aber Snake recht. Wir werden nicht viel gelegen. Ach Mist, also da geht's ja nicht lang. Äh, wir können froh sein, dass Ryan so eine kleine Wasserratte ist und genug äh, Sauerstoff zur Verfügung hat. So. So, jetzt äh, noch. Wir könnten uns zwar auch hinstellen und durch die Gänge laufen, aber da sind wir arsch langsam. Der arme Peter. Den hat es ja vorher erwischt. Den hat man ja fast vergessen. Äh, hier vor den Raum hatte ich nämlich damals so Schiss. Gerade wegen den Röhrenfernsehern. Da konnte ich hier nichts sehen. Ich konnte gar nichts sehen, Leute. Also das war wirklich eine Überwindung hier. Nämlich hier durchzukommen, ey. Obwohl es eigentlich relativ leicht ist, wenn man weiß, wie man schwimmen muss und so. Na, ich doch nicht hoch. Alter, ey. Das ist immer so kacke, wenn die, äh, äh, wenn man nach oben drückt, dass der Spieler dann nach unten schwimmt oder so. Das haben ja auch die meisten Shooter, ey. Das ist manchmal nicht gerade... So, jetzt laufen wir. <lacht> wir können noch laufen. Ryan ist übelst schwer. Ah, das schaffen wir noch, komm. Das schaffen wir noch. Ja. So Leute, jetzt mal wieder eine längere Cutscene. Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately. Hell had no vacancies.
They speak out clearly what a person's next move will be. They even tell me which way a gun is going to be pointed before the trigger is pulled. But your muscle is still too tight. This should be fun. Well worth the wait. You knew I was coming? You've become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal Gear. girl is just ahead. She is of no use to us now. But she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat insulated compression. It was a top-secret project initiated by the current president. Enceladus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch-capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth, and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <laughs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you walk in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. So, <coughs> Bam will es wissen. Ähm. Ja, verbeugen ist wichtig, du Arsch. Das Wichtigste ist bei diesem Kampf. Die Lichter ausmachen, damit man so seinen Schattenangriff nicht durchführen kann. Man kann natürlich auch äh, Granaten und die, ähm, die, ähm, sag schon. Ja, ich benutze mal hier ein bisschen andere Waffen. Man kann nämlich auch äh, Granaten und so ins Wasser werfen. Äh, Damit äh, er nämlich schneller wieder hochkommt. Ich äh, demonstriere euch das mal. Weil da nimmt nämlich... Äh ne? Seht ihr? Aber wie gesagt, äh, ist nicht unbedingt nötig. Bist du. Lass mich ruhig von dem Messer treffen, das ist mir scheißegal. War mehr. Du Sau. Wo bist du? Hä? Ich weiß nicht, ob ich, ob ich den so treffen könnte. Aber ich denke mal nicht. Er schon ziemlich schnell. Komm hoch. Ach, 
Habe ich ihn getroffen? Ja, jetzt wird es ein bisschen kritischer. Ich nehme mal hier, weil sonst ballern wir zu viele Munition. Wo bist du? Das ist mir ein bisschen zu schnell, Mann. Ich habe das Spiel so lange nicht gespielt hier. Ich bin total raus. So, aus die Maus. They've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the president gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, what's up? A lot of years have passed between EE e. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. So, Wemp, komm mir nie wieder unter die Augen, du Mistkerl. Wer klopft denn jetzt hier? Oh, ey. Ja, Leute, äh, da bedanke ich mich fürs Zusehen. Seid auf jeden Fall im nächsten Part wieder dabei. Also haut rein und ciao.